Good morning, my man night and 61 here, beautiful morning in the UK here. Uh, just received a little prize from uh, this moon man here. No, I'm not pronouncing, that's why I've written it down, because I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Roadkill SC Jim or Roadkill C Jim. But I'm going to call him Jim anyway. So I'll put that down. And what I won in his little competition, and I've covered the address, I'm not going to show any signatures or anything. Just make sure there's no return addresses. Maybe they're a little bit, I think it's too small to see. Look. Yeah, okay. Better keep that Anyway, apparently it's a snake bite kit, what I want. So, <laughs> we've got a. Uh, apart from in zoos and private collections with poisonous snakes wise, we've got an adder. Which, if you have allergic reactions, could kill you, but otherwise, is about as bad as a bee sting apparently but I'm not going to test it out anyway I'll uh, just open this up and see what we've got I'll use me beans it's a snake bite kit sort of bush crafty I'm going to use me leatherman to open this bad boy up there's my cat coming in let's have a look Oh, okay. Ooh, uh, what's that? There we go. Snake bite kit. <coughs> oh, what's in the tin? Look at this. There's stuff there. Is it just about make out the writing on it? Snake bite kit directions. Keep cool. Do not become excited. Apply to okay. Yeah. Break antiseptic swab with scalpel. Open holes made by the snake. Ooh. How do you do that if it's in your back or something? Place mouth of syringe over cuts. Uh, back but not out of Ooh, That's good. Let me just slightly adjust that because that's resting against there. This is excellent. So we can have that. Is the tourniquet. I don't want to disturb it too much. This looks pretty old. So try and get it back in its. Here's the bandage. Let me tighten that up a bit. Snake bite kit. That's the bandage after the after the fact. Now this is the syringe. Ooh, that's impressive. I like that. What have I got on myself? That's brilliant. Yeah, that goes over there. So you can see that. Put that up in bit. Put that on it. And do that. That suckers look wow. I like that. Brilliant. That's a Venix first aid snake box suction syringe. I don't know many people in England have got one of that. Man. So, Jim, thank you very much. That's an amazing present. Also, which I missed, I'm going to put this in the middle so it's going to look very silly. But there's a little. Oh, I can't really see. Oh, there we go. It's a little vial of uh, like smelling salts, if you like. I don't know if that's making any difference. But it says crush ammonia inhale, and it says 35% alcohol. E.D. Bullard, it's uh, San Francisco, Calif. I don't want to pull it because it'll all come undone, but yeah, I'm presuming that's like a smelling salts thing to keep you, keep you conscious. 
there you go. Put that one back in, I think that was at the back there. And then the ribbon, ribbon, bandage, so I know in medical terms. And uh, tourniquet, that's pinned, look, I'm not going to undo it all. And that's what you put around to stop the uh, venom going any further. All in a saucy little tin, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. So, here we go, here's a shout out to Jim. And this is his uh, channel. Get and see him, see what he does. He does metal detector, he does all sorts actually. I like his recycling vids as well. Always up for a bit of recycling myself. Uh, this is where this aluminium panel end up. There we go. Thanks for watching.